This is a demonstration of a time overcurrent trip on a Schweitzer 551 overcurrent relay protecting a small three-phase generator. There's our generating station up there being driven by a belt, or through a belt I should say. Here's our overcurrent relay and we have a program as such so it's uh, during normal operation the normal running current of this motor is just below the pickup value for the time overcurrent function. What we're going to do is apply more load to the motor through this adjustable brake and as we apply more load to it it's going to lug the motor down and it's going to put us above the pickup value for the time overcurrent function in this relay and then it will slowly begin to time at some point it will trip us out on time overcurrent. So here we go, I'm going to start the motor up, our motor spinning and if we take a look at our load currents right now we've got it to read here as though this were a very high current power system as though this were 450 amps it's actually a thousand times less so our real line current is less than half an amp what I'm going to do at this point is increase the brake on the motor slowly and gradually and then at some point it's going to exceed the pickup value for the time over current function we'll see as the current begins to rise we will reach a point where the relay will begin to pick up and begin to time and then you'll see the time over current trip there we go and there we have a time over current trip what actually happened is the brake on my motor uh, grabbed the shaft and it stalled the shaft so we were reading the locked rotor current which was about uh, 700 milliamps or so. That was above our pickup value of uh, 0.5 amps. Again, reading out as 500 amps on our display because of our, our CT ratio setting we put in the meter. And what we had here is an overcurrent event. That is a time overcurrent, so the instantaneous target did not light up, but phases A, B, and C all registered a time overcurrent event, and it tripped it out. And of course, when it trips out the breaker, our PLC inside of here is programmed to shut the motor off and so the generator is no longer spinning and we have ourselves a shutdown generator. So there we go. That's a time overcurrent trip event. Schweitzer 551 overcurrent relay.